एंड इट गॉट मी थ्री मेजर अपॉर्चुनिटीज वन वॉज द डायरेक्ट इंटरव्यू एट ट्राई इट ऑन ए आई विद द फाउंडर हिमसेल्फ एंड द सेकेंड अपॉर्चुनिटी वॉज एट स्टार्टअप बैंगलोर बेस्ड स्टार्टअप एंड द थर्ड मेजर अपॉर्चुनिटी आई गॉट फ्रॉम दिस प्रोजेक्ट वॉज लवेबल बट देर आई ओके सो लेट सी द प्रोजेक्ट दैट गेट यू हायर्ड सो वी हैव कपल ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट हेयर एंड वी विल इवेल्युएट दैम बेस्ड ऑन दीज फोर पैरामीटर्स दैट इज यूजिलिटी यू आई एंड यू एक्स यूनिकनेस एंड बेसिकली वेदर इट कैन बी मॉनिटाइज और नॉट so whether we can make money some money or not so the first project is from groot i hope his name is correct or her name is correct so we have this project called cs wars and here we can discover and share computer science resources so that is great like it is usable uh, like usable find the best tutorials courses books and tools to level up your cs skills so here we have to click on get started and uh, what is this okay so i tried this project before and in like most my most accurate guess is that uh, the database is not configured properly for this project so from this idea basically i can say it is use uh, like useful it can be used and uh, if again if this project has uh, let's say lots of users and there are many people who are using it then like putting this project in the resume would also be very good and uh, if we talk about the ui and ux then i think ui and ux uh, i would rate it 7 or 8 out of 10 like uh, it is not bad very much and also i don't think so it is very good as well like uh, it seems like it is created through ai and that is totally okay so again i would say ui ux is decent enough now uh, then we see uniqueness so whether this project is unique or not so i think uh, this project is not very unique and the reason is uh, like like it contains lots of things so there are many resources so it is not giving me a very concrete image of something again uh, in order to verify whether something is like a very clear or not just try to imagine it if you are imagine it perfectly then it is clear uh, like it is clear or if you are not able to do so then it's not very clear so the same thing is happening here like discover and share computer science resources but again if i try to imagine it then probably i would not see the very concrete image because there are lots of computer science resources so when it comes to uniqueness i don't think so it is very unique again no personal uh, hate no offense but i probably in the, on the scale of uniqueness like from 0 to 10 i would rate it 5 or 6 and again if it were like uh, only for one specific topic let's say cpu then it would be unique but uh, there are many sites including github there are many repositories on github as well that provide computer science uh, resources i would probably attach in the same video after that we have this project built by jagannath bhai and uh, his okay his real name is sarthak <laughs> okay that's great so he built uh, detoxify and basically detoxify makes it uh, impossible to be distracted on youtube it is only dynamically it not only dy dynamically filters your youtube based on your preferred category but also pops up a dialog bo box whenever you search or watch a video that doesn't align to your learning goal so use case is great not good but great again and uh, i try to find like how to install it like how, i don't know i most probably jagannath bhai has not like uh, published a chrome ex extension for it so i was not able to find it here but it is properly structured and uh, like um, it uh, has the uh, navigate to youtube okay so one thing like uh, one feedback i would give uh, ju just a general suggestion that whenever you build a project and if that project cannot be hosted i, I mean it can be a lo low level project it can be some sort of library then uh, always attach a demo here like the first thing and uh, attach it in form of gif 
GIF or whatever. So that it is start playing automatically. And uh, so what happens is that that whenever someone will look at that project, like um, either a recruiter or someone else, then they will first see the use case. In most cases, like in 99.99% of the times, people first see the impact and then they get into technicals. They don't first get into the technicals and then they see the big picture. They always see the big picture first. So that is just a suggestion I would give to everyone. I don't, I was not able to find any demo here uh, so i don't know how does it work otherwise i would love to like try it out and uh, so when it comes to ui and ux again <laughs> zero i don't know what is the ui or ux of it but usability wise and the concept wise it is great i would say like 10 out of 10 and uniqueness and monetization so it is unique indeed that is totally unique and when it comes to whether it can be monetized or not then i think it can be monetized if there is an extension like this published on like chrome extension store then i would pay at least like um, i can pay like eight to nine dollars easily a month for this thing like uh, if it can save hours of my time then i can pay very easily so there is no problem in that after that there is one more project and that is find hackers so it is created by aman and uh, okay so let me see showcase your best projects and get hired elite indie builders who ship end-to-end -end, hire by proof if you have shipped you should be here so uh like when it comes to usability, I think this project has good usability. The reason I won't say great, I will tell you just in a couple of seconds. And when it comes to UI and UX, so uh, the UI UX is great. You can see here there is a interactive, like it is following my cursor. So, and uh, perfect everything, there is this uh, glass for make as something, I don't know what is the name, but it is called something like this. So, mo more thick as, <laughs> leave it. So, and uh, there is perfect like alignments and uh, FAQ and there is a footer and everything. So, that is UA, UI and UX is, I would say, 9 out of 10. And uh, when it comes to uniqueness, so here is the catch this project could be very unique if it was like very specific to just one problem or like showcase your best projects only this if there, there was only this thing then this project would be unique because i don't think so there is there is any other website like this i have not seen it so like uh, Aman has added, again, just a personal opinion. I'm not uh, giving you any like industry standard advices. It is just a personal opinion, no hate. And but the, like uh, he added this get hired. So it is kind of confusing. Who is this for? At least initially in the initial stage of the pro uh, project. So if it were like only showcase your best projects and if it was and it simply shows the project i am not able to see it here so let me just uh, create a profile uh my username okay get hired i need to sign up with uh, github or twitter there is no uh like there is no way of signing it through google uh, because i mostly prefer google i won't do it through github and uh, twitter there are many reasons for it but i have seen the the dashboard and uh, it was quite cool let me just check it uh no i think uh, i should i do it using github let's do it and let's see what what if we find something great okay so i already did it i i think okay so here is my dashboard if i am here to get hired and here is a luminous ai it create my profile something here are the analytics here are the settings so ui wise this project is great honestly uh, when it comes to usability i would say it is decently useful uh, like i can host my project here but again it the usability of this project only depends on the the outcome i get so let's say if this project gets uh, the eyes of a thousand recruiters every single day then I would definitely host my project here. I would put my project and personal informations there. But uh, uh, like I won't do it for the sake of only just doing it. So I think the 
usability is a bit uh, distant here and a bit uh, like uh, not to the point it ca it can be but like just an opinion and uh, when it come to let's say monetization can it be monetized so i think this project can be monetized if uh, initially it is focused on only one thing again i would say the same thing and the reason is uh, because uh, see if you mix both the things then you have become a job platform and there are many job platforms out there there is no <laughs> i think shortage of the job opening platforms are there uh, like already there so it can be monetized but there are conditions so it this project is good enough again if you put this in resume then that would leave a great impression after that we have sketchly dot pro i think it is a sketchly okay so this is cool project this is really cool project so this is just a uh like a same like exactly draw so we can just uh, draw the shapes here like this and uh, we can uh draw these shapes and we can probably write something here okay 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 okay, okay. so we can write a lot of things here and let me check if uh, this follows ui responsiveness <laughs> so it uh, does not follow the ui responsiveness again no big issue but i just have the knack of checking the ui responsiveness all the time even some of my projects don't follow it so i don't <laughs> i don't think so it's a bad thing but uh, again great project uh, in terms of usability it is great i would say 9 out of 10 and uh, in terms of uh, like uh, ui and ux that is like decent too i don't think so there is too much ui here but again it is good enough and uh, after that it comes to uniqueness so is this project unique i don't think so very much because there are too many projects like these and even i have built a project like this i have to show you then just a second and uh, uh, just a second just i won't take much time i uh, i built a project called uh, draw rtc so this is the project i built and here is a short demo and also this is the demo i was talking about always add a little demo in form of gif so it is start auto playing and uh, it ex like just in within sec just in the matter of seconds it shows what you have built so i have built this project and again uis i would rate my ui 2 out of 10 <laughs> in this project and but it has functionalities like a real time drawing so if someone is writing a user is writing on their end then the it can be it will be shown to other user as well and uh, so by the uniqueness i would say it's not very unique and if it comes to monetization then i am not seeing very straight monetization of this project because of the competition and because of because it is this problem is pretty much solved by lots of people again it depends if there are many conditions and like very cheap or very to the point or just focused on one specific kind of audience then it can make money i think let's move to the next project and that is this project is created by vishnu also this uh, project is created by sketchly dot pro is created by daksh so i don't want to forget the name this project is created by vishnu so let's see what is this cook uh what is this cook uh, tau hq code cooking for lazy developers everyday cli tool for you like a swiss army knife but for the developers okay so it's in the waiting list right uh okay okay join the waiting list i burn water i can follow recipes i can okay these are the this is the cli uh okay here okay so this is this looks a great project that is great uh but it is not active no one is working on that but still there is a wait list so i am a bit confused why is this either they have left it uh, like after working for a couple of weeks okay so still let's see uh when it come to when are where are the use cases uh features these are the features so 
templates or safe project setups or starter kits you can reuse anytime perfect for speed and consistency so this is not pretty much unique i think because the github provide such a feature custom commands create project specific or global cli shortcuts so this one is unique and this is a really painful thing to solve code snippets save and useful uh, reuse reuse useful bits of code again that is also i think not very uh, unique but it is good feature prompt archive license generator api key manager layers and http code gen so i found only this one that is really cool and really problem solving and uh, when it comes so when it comes to usability then i would say it is definitely useful because of this one and also the supporting ones so i would say it is 9 out of 10 in usability and when it comes to ui and ux so by looking at this uh, like landing pages ui then that is great i would say 8 out of 10 and also because it is more focused on the cli part so ui would obviously won't be such a factor and uh, when it comes to uniqueness so is it unique yes i would say i won't say yes if th this was not in this feature card again okay th there are more of them line counter how much code you have written again this is this can be done easily hot reload this is also possible online sharing okay this can be a good one so uh in, in terms of uh, like uh, uniqueness i yes it is unique i would say nine out of ten in uniqueness and uh, what is that okay so one more thing is monetization so i think yes this project solves this particular problem and i have i will have no problem to pay like one time amount something like this for this project and will will i hire based on this project so i would say yes i would if someone has this project then i will definitely give them a chance for the interview at least so this is a great project by the way if i have to share one project that personally benefited me a lot then this is the project opensocks.ai and it got me three major opportunities. One was the direct interview at uh, Triathlon AI uh, with the founder himself. And the second opportunity was at a startup, Bangalore based startup. And the third major opportunity I got from this project was uh, Lovable. But uh, there I shared my whole profile. So I don't know whether this project was a role there or not. But uh, like in the feedback I got from the recruiter, they told me that you have built a project that is uh, solving a real problem, even though it was very scrappy one that time not even the good la uh, landing page was there so that was all like uh, build problem solving projects and especially the projects that have the impact and the impact can be shown by many ways it can have the users it can have the a great use case it can has have the revenue it can have like a lot of other parameters but in the end it should show the impact if you can show the impact in, through your project then i don't think so there will be anyone who will not uh, ask you for an interview at their company at least so bye